Hi, my name is Taylor, also known as Abysmal Arts on Instagram. I'm a heavy black work tattoo artist in New West, and I work out of New Edge Inc. I've been tattooing for a year now. I finished my apprenticeship in August, but I've been tattooing like clientele since January of 2021. Um, I really like that brutal style of tattooing, so I like having that aggressive element to my artwork. Um, even when it's like organic things and animals and plants, I like to have a little more chaos. In there. My first tattoo I ever got, I got as a walk-in tattoo when I was 18. I actually got it on my chest as my first tattoo. I got a bunch of stars done. I had the constellation of Orion's belt done. Don't like it now, but it was fun then. <laughs> uh, my parents weren't exactly pleased when I got my first tattoo, and they definitely weren't pleased about the ones to come after that. Eventually, they kind of got more used to it. Second tattoo ever I ever got was actually on my arm, and I have like a castle there, which I'm getting covered up this week because I don't like it. <laughs> uh, most painful tattoos, it's tied between getting my fingers tattooed and getting my stomach tattooed. I think my stomach's probably the worst one that I've had. One of my favorite tattoos is actually my back piece, which my mentor Fido Tattoo did for me. Um, I also love my face tattoo, which he also did. So those are probably my two favorite tattoos that I have. God, I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like when you're getting tattooed, it's like, oh my God, this will never end. It's been like hours. And then when it's done, you're like, oh, that wasn't that bad. Like I didn't put that much time into it. So I literally couldn't tell you. I guess also my cum tattoos, those are good too. Um, so a friend of mine, I tattoo quite often. He was like, this looks like so much fun. Like, it can't be that hard. And I was like, it's pretty hard. Here, you know what? You, you can try. You can tattoo whatever you want on me. No judgment. And so he gave me a tattoo of like that middle school super S, like the really cool little three little lines, connect them all up. And he gave me the word come on my ankle. And it's probably like one of my favorite tattoos that I have, even though it sounds so bad. <laughs> Actually, he was pretty good. Like he was a welder. So I feel like him holding the machine like a gun the whole time is really funny, but he actually did like a really solid job. I have always wanted to be fully covered. I've always wanted my face tattooed. I've always wanted my neck and my hands tattooed. Um, and I think a lot of the reasons why I wanted to get like really, really covered to see like other artists fully covered. You could tell they had like big appreciation for other people in the community, you know, to trust someone to get stuff like that. Also being around like heavy metal music and like seeing all of these like cool like artists from a different medium fully covered made me really want to get covered. Probably when I was like 14, <laughs> that's when I wanted to get tattooed. And then when I was like 16, I was like, I really want to become a tattoo artist. Probably like in high school. I've always drawn, I was like that really weird art kid in school and I guess I paid off. <laughs> um, honestly, like I don't have very many tattoos that have meaning because like anything I get is for myself, it's not for other people. I think the only one that has like a little bit of meaning was probably my foot tattoo, uh, which is my mom's initial. And I just have to do my dad's initial. My leg is mostly flash pieces and like uh, more like supporting my friends and getting tattooed by like friends and people I like. My other leg is totally bare for travel because I want to be able to travel and get tattooed by people I looked up to when I first started to get into tattooing. Anything that's in progress right now is finished for now, but I'm working on bigger projects this year. I love like a glass, did it hurt? It's my favorite one. It's like, wasn't great. <laughs> you know, a whole bunch of needles in at you at once. It's not very pleasant. I'm very friendly, like when I go out into like shop or anything, I try and make a point to like talk to people because, you know, my hair up, my head shaved and my face tattoos, I feel like people think that I'm like itchy. So I always make a point to talk to people, but I always get followed in like malls and I always get followed in like Sephora and like very like, you know, nice stores. <laughs> like, lady, I don't care that you're dragging around that little Zara bag. Like, my arms worth more than that. <laughs>